Hi everybody, this is John Abel. It's uh, April 25th, 2015. What I'm doing today is showing uh, and verifying the two uh, frequencies that are actually coming through my uh, ultrasonic vaporizer. Uh, this m machine I have just verified is AM modulated. It has two frequencies in it, a carrier and a modulation frequency, so it can uh, it can work on the water that it that that the distilled water that you put into this, and it will actually vaporize distilled water. Um, I did assume it was using that kind of entanglement technology more than one more than one frequency, but I did want to verify those numbers. Uh, so what we're looking at here is uh, from top to bottom. That's a hundred volts. Uh, the input is is a 24 volt DC signal from the wall through a transformer becoming 20, 24 volts DC and then driving and then driving the circuit board inside of the machine um, and, and then and then rectifying or or uh, transforming up to 100 volts and then um, and then the inner wave the tighter one that you can't really see it's just kind of filling in everything else there is is actually a much much tighter ultrasonic wave at two megahertz or about five five hundred nanosecond wavelength. Uh, that that because it is modulated on on a wave that you that a person can hear actually can do more damage to you. Um, that's why this radiation I can I can really feel it. I can feel it in my ears. Uh, I can feel it in my bones. And uh, and it does do extra work on on what we consider or at least what we used to consider an impossibility on, on, on manipulating water. So, yes, uh, we do have commercial products now that use this type of technology, that do have these type of signals in them, and they are very effective. So I, um, I, do, uh, I do encourage people to take a look at this technology and, and, uh, and see what they can do with it on their own. So good luck to you all.